Do you remember this? I think it's time to get back to DIY injection molding with Dremel CNC and hot glue, but this time I will change few things according to your comments. The first thing that I want to change is the part itself. In my opinion, it was too big. There is a lot of material to inject into this mold and hot glue cannot create high enough pressure to inject so much material before it cools down. So this time I designed a way smaller mold and I hope that will help a lot. Second thing is the vice problem. A lot of you point out that vice acts as a radiator, so I should put some kind of wood between uh, the mold and the vice and that's what I'm going to do today. There was also a lot of comments that I should use some kind of release agent or release spray and in case of hot glue I don't really think so because those first part came out of the mold pretty easily so there was just a problem with the last part when the mold was heated up so I think in case of hot glue heating up the mold is not really a good idea I know that they do that with normal injection molding with plastics but maybe hot glue just works differently I don't know I will try today without heating up the mold and the last thing that I changed is the milling bit. I bought a smaller milling bit, it's 8mm long, 2mm in diameter and it's single foot so it's perfect for aluminum. I already have my design of new mold on my computer so let me show you that and then we will mill it. Here is the mold and as you can see it's very very small, it's tiny compared to what I had previously and hopefully that will let me make this project successful, I hope so. I really spent a lot of time on thinking what I should design, I wanted to make something useful and I thought that something useful, small and simple will be just a washer and because I'm using a hot glue, this washer will be quite flexible. I'm not sure if there is a use for flexible washers, but I hope it is. So I designed M5 flexible washer, here we will put hot glue gun, there are channels for air to escape and here we have our washers. There are also position pins and holes so that we can put the mold together. I also already designed it in CAM so that we can manufacture it on the Dremel CNC. Here is the simulation and everything seemed to be fine. So we can turn on the Dremel CNC and try to mill that. Hopefully it will be easy to mill, I think so. Theoretically with this smaller bit I should be able to go even faster but I am not sure. If I will be able to, I will try that. So yeah, everything is ready, let's turn on the Dremel CNC. Here I have all of my filling bits, let me find the new ones. Here they are. Milling bit is installed, I fixed aluminum to the build plate. Vacuum cleaner is ready, here is CNCJS with the G-code, the first part of the mold. And because I burned out the power supply of Dremel CNC, I have no idea how. I have to use the power supply of my main light, so it may be a little bit dark. the mold is ready. It is very very tiny, maybe even too small, but at least it took just 20 minutes to mill this thing, so it's way better than the previous mold that I milled in two hours or something like this. And this new milling bit is amazing, it's way sharper than those that I previously used, so the surface finish is beautiful. So now I will mill the second part of the mold and then we will see if it works. Let's also check if the vacuum cleaner works with the aluminum. So here I have aluminum chips. As you can see it works. Maybe not perfectly because there is some aluminum around on the Dremel CNC. But there is no aluminum on my laptop. There is no aluminum on the workbench so that's cool.
And the mold is ready. It took me just an hour to mill both parts of the mold compared to four hours with the last mold. That's a really good result. And also this new milling bit is really amazing. The surface finish and everything looks incredibly good. It also fits together so well. So I think it's time to inject some hot glue and see if it actually works. I really hope it do. And here is my first successfully injection molded part with hot glue gun and my DIY molds. As you can see this is a washer for M5 screw and it fits here perfectly. And that's the first successful mold for DIY injection molding with hot glue gun. I'm really happy that it works and because I still have a lot of hot glue, let's make some more washers. over 70 washers in just 20 minutes and one stick of hot glue gun. That's a great result. And this is official proof that DIY injection molding with Dromos CNC and hot glue gun is possible and it works really well. It's easy to get those parts out of the mold even without any release agent. So it's really cool and those parts really look nice. Now I would like to design something else, another mold, maybe something more useful than just a flexible washer. This was just a perfect test because it's small, so there is not a lot of things that can go wrong. But now I would like to design something a little bit bigger and also more useful. I have no ideas for now what it will be, so I have to come up with an idea. Two hours later. My new design is ready. I also bought yellow hot glue. Uh, I'm not going to show you my design on my laptop. Uh, we will jump right to the link. But what I designed is a very simple zip tie. I hope it will work. It's small, it's of course bigger than the washer, but it's still very small, so I hope it will be possible to make it using hot glue. Uh, so let's jump right to the milling. The mold is ready, it took about one and a half hours to mill both parts, so it's really not that terrible. It's still quite small, but way bigger than the first mold. I really hope it will work, so let's put it in vice and test it. I'm so pissed off. The second mold is not working again, just like the last time. I have some problems because the hot glue cools down too early. I'm not sure how to deal with that and I don't want to heat up the mold again because I will probably destroy it. The first mold works great all the time. I tried with this yellow hot glue and it works perfectly, but the second one just cannot work. I'm really pissed off because of that. I think the biggest problem in this project is a hot glue gun itself because I have a really crappy hot glue gun 
and the hot glue started leaking from the inside of the hot glue gun and that's a big problem because I cannot create high enough pressure to push the hot glue all the way through the mold. So this project is definitely way better than the last one with DIY injection molding because we finally have a successful first mold. The second mold is not that successful but that's fine, I still have to learn and experiment a little bit more in order to get it working perfectly but as for now it's it's really nice to have at least the washers injection molded with the hot glue gun. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if so don't forget to give it a like and if you have any questions, ideas, don't forget to leave that in the comments. As always, I will read all of the comments. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye!